What's the Yadia Trooper 01 e-bike? That's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Rick from Run Playback. Today we're going to dive into the Yadia Trooper 01, a brand new moped style ride built for those who love to explore. This bike comes with a bunch of interesting features, so let's break it down and see if it sparks your interest. Now let's get to it. Super 01 has a distinctive moped style design with a retro rib seat and integrated front and rear fenders. The 20 by 4 inch all-terrain CST fat tires provide stability and traction across various terrain, ensuring a smooth ride. The in-frame storage compartment is a practical addition, offering a convenient space for essentials. However, the compact frame may feel a little too small and awkward for taller riders. Packing a 750 watt peak hub motor, this class 2 electric bike cruises at a max speed of 20 miles per hour. However, there is a way to unlock the speed, which we'll get into later. The 48 volt 20 amp hour battery is removable and Yadia is UL certified, which means a very high safety rating. The battery gives you a decent 56 miles with pedal assist and 25 miles on pure throttle. Of course, these numbers can vary based on your weight, terrain, and power level. The single speed transmission system simplifies the riding experience as it's more about throttling than shifting. We're going to do a walkthrough of the Yadia Trooper 01 electric moped. So this looks like similar moped style bikes in its class. It is a little bit smaller. So the first thing you'll notice are these 20 by 4 inch CST all-terrain tires, kind of a dual sport tread. We have the integrated front fender. We have the integrated headlight over here. The pattern of the beam looks interesting. It's not something I've seen before, although it's not adjustable. So I don't see any way to move this up and down. So it's kind of like in one place. The handlebars are pretty small. I don't know the exact dimensions but i'm sure you could get longer bars it looks like you can actually put bmx bars on this if you wanted to so it looks like we have an rst suspension fork that comes with these fork guards we also have tektro hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotor we have velo rubber grips a button that turns off the headlight and taillight we got a horn not that loud we have a reflector in the center we have a compact display right here on the right side it's integrated onto the thumb throttle and here you'll notice that you have three levels of drive mode so it keeps things really simple, eco, mid, and high. And here's a look at the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. You have the mineral oil reservoir and the levers. We have a 48 volt, 20 amp hour removable battery. Comes with a set of keys. You unlock it over here, turn it, pull out, comes off like that. 48 volts, 20 amp hours. Now, one thing to note is that Yadia is UL certified. So UL certified means that it's passed a certain amount of safety tests. And this is good if you don't want to worry about cheap cells or batteries blowing up on you. You also have this indicator display to show you the amount of battery I've left. As we make our way to the middle of the frame, you'll notice this compartment over here. It's kind of narrow, but you could put your phone, any other electronics. If you're a modder, you could probably use this space for an extra battery if you wanted to. But I like the way that this space was utilized. And I like the logo on the side and the perforations it has a nice texture. This is very much a retro moped ribbed style seat. The material feels really nice. The foam feels really comfortable. You do have the Yadia logo over here. It's kind of like raised. It's kind of like screen printed with a really quality lettering. Now I don't see any other mounting points to add a rack. Maybe there is a way to do that. Probably back here and maybe over here. You'll also notice the rear suspension shock. It's just a simple spring steel shock. And because it's kind of like a minimalist moped style bike, it is a single speed. So the specs say that this is a 750 watt peak hub motor. And we also have the integrated rear taillight. It is connected to your brake sensor so they do get brighter as you brake. You have the integrated rear fender with a reflector at the end. Now the total weight of the bike is 73 pounds. So it's not bad, especially if you take the battery off. And like I said, it's a pretty compact bike. And so it would be reasonably easy to take it up a flight of stairs. You might need some help. First ride with the Yadia Trooper 01. Now there is a way to unlock this to go past 20 miles per hour. I know Shreddy actually did a video on that and how to do it. So all credits to him, but we'll try to cover it after we go through the stock settings. All right, so the bike is turned on and we'll set it to eco mode. Sitting on the bike is really comfortable. Seat is really comfortable. I'm shorter, so I'm gonna sit a little bit closer to the handlebars, but obviously if you're a bigger rider, you'll be all the way back here. My center of gravity feels really comfortable. Let's just uh, see how it feels. All right, so a nice smooth acceleration. So the controller really eases into the acceleration. There is a bit of a delay on the throttle. Like you press it down and then it goes. Let me demonstrate. So I'm pressing the throttle, one, two, three, and then it kind of like, then it kind of goes in. Um, 
not a big deal. You just have to get used to it. It's probably good for riders who don't want that abrupt acceleration. It's just really smooth on the uptick. Yeah, plenty of power. Let's bump it up to high and let's feel that pedal assist. All right, so the pedal assist is kicking in. Yep, really good. So let's do a top speed test. So we are in kilometers, 34, 37, 35. So about 35 kilometers is where it maxes out. Really, really smooth. Pedal assist is really smooth. So I have no doubt that this thing can tackle inclines super easily. Let's do a quick brake test. So yeah, the Yadia Trooper 01, very pleasant experience. This is very similar to our experience on the Yadia Elite Prime scooter. There's something about the tune, something about the parts that just feel really comfortable and really easy to use. Just the balance of the components, where everything is located, especially for me as a shorter rider. You know, I'll get a lot of comments like for people who are obviously taller than me, but I do get a lot of people who are sometimes shorter than me. They're really hesitant about purchasing a bike because nothing fits them. I get it. So this is the first time that one of these bikes felt like I could totally handle this. If you're a modder, I think that there's a lot of possibilities here, especially with the frame, the geometry of everything. We're gonna show you guys how to unlock the Yadia Trooper 01 to turn the bike on. We actually got this tutorial from Shreddy's channel. So definitely check out his channel if you wanna see more content about the Yadia Trooper 01. So all you gotta do is hold down the top and bottom buttons. It'll bring you to this screen, press the middle button, and you go all the way to P06, and then you change that to 0 0.2.5. And I believe this is the wheel size, so it might change the uh, speedometer settings. And then next we wanna change P08, we want to set that to 100. I think it was at 40 something. And this is the speed limit. So setting it to 100 basically just some oxit. And you'll get way more power out of the Trooper 01. The comfortable moped style seat is well designed for extended journeys, enhancing overall comfort. The RST front suspension fork and rear steel spring shock contribute to a smoother ride, especially on uneven surfaces. The Trooper comes equipped with a right hand thumb throttle and three drive modes, which keeps things simple and easy to operate. The hydraulic disc brakes provide reliable stopping power, enhancing safety on the road. The integrated retro headlight and taillight with brake light function contribute to visibility during low light conditions, a crucial aspect for safety conscious riders. The right mounted LCD display provides provides essential information, including battery life, speed, and distance. Weighing in at 73 pounds, it's not impossible to carry, but it's not feather light either. The removable battery helps with the lifting, but it might still be a hassle for some situations, like getting it up a flight of stairs. The Audio Trooper 01 e-bike really simplifies the moped style class that's gotten pretty complicated over the years. With its three drive modes, smooth controller tune, and compact frame, the Trooper makes it suitable for both beginners and experienced riders. But overall, Yadia seems to really care about their part selection and aesthetics, and if that's something that you you care about, then the Trooper 01 is definitely worth considering. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.